So we were mm. talking about wildfires. Yeah. Yes, of course, we have the statewide ban that goes until May 14th. But sure. actually, today, there is an elevated wildfire risk in Onondaga, Oneida, Madison County. Well, so that dry already, keep, even after yeah. that rain. Yeah, exactly. So just if you're going to have a bonfire, maybe later on this evening, just mm. keep it small and don't use brush. Those are the only things you really need to know with that. For weather, we're going to hang on to this nice sunshine and drier air. Sunshine continues for the rest of the week. Not expecting our next chance for rain, at least until the weekend. We're also eventually going to see some summer like temperatures. We were in the 70s today. We stay in the 70s for Tuesday, Wednesday, then come Thursday, Friday and into the weekend. We'll be into the 80s and with that drier air, it's going to be nice to get outside and enjoy those warmer temperatures. Our next chance for rain looks to arrive Saturday afternoon with a few isolated showers, maybe a couple thunderstorms, but a better chance for rain comes Sunday and into Monday. But outside right now, plenty of sunshine. Get outside and enjoy it. No travel concerns here for the evening commute. A live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. We are going to see warmer and warmer air heading in from the southwest along with this sunshine. High pressure stretches across the east coast, which is bringing us these sunny skies. And we're eventually going to get some warmer air working its way in right now over Chicago and some hotter air eventually behind that. The reason being, well, we have this weather system that sits way out to the west. And it's actually going to take a path northward heading straight into Canada. So we don't we won't get the rain from this system, but we will get this warm front that's going to bring all of this warmer air across the northeast as we go over the next few days. You can really see it across the country right now. 73 in Syracuse, but notice it's in the 80s in Minneapolis, even the 90s out by Lincoln and Kansas City. And that warmer air really works its way in for us going towards the end of the week. So this evening, as we go over the next few hours, we'll be dropping down into the upper 60s. Plenty of sunshine up until sunset shortly after 8 p.m. Then for tonight, lower 40s with a mostly clear sky. And tomorrow, another sunny day, even slightly warmer, high of 75 degrees. Then near record temperatures as we go towards the end of the week. 84 degrees Thursday, which could tie the record, which is 84 set back in 2014. 85 on Friday and 84 on Saturday. All days coming very close to breaking some record high temperatures. So again, for this evening, right now we're in the lower 70s. We'll be dropping through the upper 60s towards sunset with sunny skies, then staying clear tonight and we'll be cooling off very quickly. As we go towards tomorrow morning around sunset, which is about 5.45 a.m., we'll be in the lower 40s. Then by 7 a.m., jumping into the upper 40s and warming up very quickly once again. Pretty much a repeat of today. Sunny skies and temperatures climbing into the mid-70s in the afternoon. Then as we go towards tomorrow night, another big cool down as we drop down into the mid 40s by the morning. A check of your seven day forecast. Sunshine continues for the rest of the week. Still sunny on Wednesday, a high of 77. Then we jump into the 80s on Thursday with sunny skies. A bit of extra cloud cover arrives on Friday. A mix of sun and clouds still feeling like summer too with that record warmth. 85 degrees. We'll hang out in the 80s again on Saturday, which is our next chance for rain. We'll get some isolated showers developing in the afternoon to evening, maybe a couple of thunderstorms, but a better chance to see some scattered showers and storms arrives on Sunday with some cooler temperatures as we drop back into the 70s going towards the start of next week. Michael. Thanks, Violet. The president wrapping up a weekend meeting with G7 leaders. What's the new plan?